This world has seen the resurgence of spirits, with fierce ghosts roaming about. The college entrance exam has turned into a ghost-catching test. Clearing an A-level ghost domain allows one to attend top-tier universities. Clearing a B-level ghost domain guarantees admission to prestigious universities. Yet, for Lin Ma, who's at the bottom of the school's ranking, getting into even the worst university would be sheer luck. Hence, his teacher specifically reminded him to choose the D-level ghost domain. But Lin Ma went straight for the A-level ghost domain. The teacher exclaimed, Are you seeking death? She didn't know that Lin Ma had acquired the emotional collapse system. If he can make someone emotionally collapse, he can increase the number of contracts. In this world dominated by ghost controllers, having contracts with three ghosts is considered genius. However, for Lin Ma, with enough emotional collapse points, he can contract countless ghosts. Not long ago, Lin Ma was idly gaming in class. Seeing this, the teacher angrily questioned him. Lin Ma, what would you do if you encountered a ghost that died from electrocution? Without thinking, Lin Ma replied, I'd catch it and use it as a power bank. What a great source of free energy. Holding back her anger, the teacher asked, what if you meet a red-dressed female ghost? Upon hearing this, Lin Ma blushed and responded, well, for female ghosts, it all depends on their appearance. If they look good, of course, I'd bring them back to warm my bed. Infuriated, the teacher immediately told him to stand in the corner as punishment. Yet, Lin Ma seemed happy, because he had just successfully made the teacher emotionally collapse. The system notified him that the emotional management system was successfully bound. As a reward, he received a beginner's gift package. Not only did he obtain the ultimate skill of emotional collapse contract technique, but he also increased his contract limit by two points. Now, he only needs to get a ghost's emotional collapse value to 99% to forcefully make a contract. Thus, during the college entrance exam choice, he decisively chose the A-level ghost domain. When he opened his eyes again, he found himself in a terrifying hospital of the ghost domain. Accompanying him were the top five students from the province. The floating paper figure in front of them is the proctor for this test. The paper figure then introduced the location of the test to them. Vast Wave City, a horrifying city where three elite ghost controlling groups were wiped out, and every single resident died. Their assessment task is to survive a day within this hospital, and make a contract with a ghost, killing or contracting an evil spirit will earn the MVP title and an extra reward of a green corpse ghost pearl. Just in case, the paper figure also gave each person a teleportation talisman. As the paper figure grinned eerily, the assessment began. While everyone was still trembling with fear, Lin Ma had already walked in with a gleeful smile. Let's go see the beautiful nurse. Bloodstains were everywhere in the hospital corridors. As Lin Ma rounded a corner, he suddenly stopped, his expression horrified. Everyone panically asked what was wrong with Lin Ma. In terror, Lin Ma shouted, Ghost! There are ghosts. Bad news. More than 50 of them. Everyone, run. Instantly, everyone turned tail and ran. However, once outside, they realized Lin Ma was nowhere in sight. Suddenly, laughter echoed. They saw Lin Ma standing on the second floor of the hospital, cheerfully waving at them. The ghost domain briefing mentioned only 20 ghosts. I casually said 50 and you all believed it. Don't any of you think? These words infuriated everyone below. Congratulations to the host for gaining 100 emotional collapse points. Having successfully acquired the points, Lin Ma turned and walked away. As he passed the entrance to the ophthalmology department, the system indicated that there's half of a medium fierce ghost inside. Lin Ma instantly smiled gleefully. Isn't that a handicapped ghost? He was about to enter, but was stopped by someone with glasses. Is this a place for a loser like you? After a brief thought, Lin Ma spread his arms out. Please, go ahead, geniuses. Watching them enter, Lin Ma smirked maliciously. As expected, soon, screams emanated from inside. Hanging from the ceiling fan was a huge eyeball, emitting a red glow, staring intently at them. Lin Ma couldn't help but feel relieved. Thank goodness he let those three idiots go in first. In a short while, twin ponytails stumbled out, spitting out a mouthful of blood. Lin Ma quickly asked her about the situation inside. Twin ponytails informed him. That blood red eye can trap people in illusions. She had to bite her own tongue to escape. It's fortunate it was us who went in. If a poor student like you went in, you'd surely be dead by now. Lin Ma chuckled. I wouldn't be so foolish to go in first. The early bird gets shot, right? Congratulations to the host for gaining 30 emotional collapse points. Watching the trio leave with curses and complaints, Lin Ma began to stealthily explore. Pressing on the wall, the ceiling fan instantly began to spin rapidly. Congratulations to the host for gaining 20 emotional collapse points. Lin Ma closed his eyes in elation. It worked. This ghost is emotionally collapsing. The blood pupil ghost atop the fan shouted, Hey, kid, turn off the fan now, or else, before it could finish. A rainbow floated out from the ghost's mouth. Lin Ma exclaimed, Did I just make a ghost vomit? Seeing the blood pupiled ghost's emotional collapse value reach 88%, Lin Ma decided to give it a final push. Bro ghost, let's make a deal. You let me contract with
with you, and I'll turn off the fan. How's that? You dare to threaten me, little brat? I'm not scared. Before it could finish, the ghost began to vomit again. Fine. Fine, just turn off the fan. But my eyes are so dry from all that wind. Fetch the eye drops from the cabinet first. Lean Ma looked at the eye drops and the super glue in the cabinet and smirked. No problem. He tore off the label from the super glue and tossed it over. The blood pupiled ghost, while pretending to be grateful, applied it. Soon, it felt something was wrong. Damn it, why can't I open my eyes? Lean Ma nonchalantly said, Maybe the eye drops expired. The blood pupiled ghost immediately burst into curses. You bastard. I can't believe I fell for your sneaky trick. Congratulations to to the host for gaining 50 emotional collapse points, detecting the blood pupiled ghost's emotional collapse value reaching 99%. You can choose to forcibly contract. Without a second thought, Lean Ma proceeded. At that moment, the system's voice echoed in blood pupiled ghost's mind. Miss blood pupiled ghost, do you wish to entrust your life to Mr. Lean Ma? I'm male. I do not agree. Screw you. Miss blood pupiled ghost agrees. Contracting in progress. Blood pupiled ghost's mentality shattered. When did I ever agree? Damn it. Contract completed. Crippled ghost integration beginning. The blood pupiled ghost transformed into a cloud of bloody mist, rushing towards Lean Ma's right eye. Lean Ma instantly felt a burning sensation in his eye. Integration complete. Now, with the forcefully integrated blood pupiled ghost, Lean Ma looked into a mirror at his own blood red eye. He had a sense of deja vu, reminiscent of Kakashi. Lean Ma then began to check the attributes of the blood pupiled ghost. Level. Intermediate fierce ghost. To his surprise, its loyalty was only at 3%. Lean Ma was speechless. Bro ghost, your loyalty is kinda low. Ha. Hearing this. The blood pupiled ghost roared in his mind. You forcibly contracted me. Why would I have any loyalty to you? I want freedom. Subsequently, the loyalty meter plummeted straight down to 1%. At that moment, the system alerted Lean Ma again. Consume 200 emotional collapse points to exchange for the first skill of any ghost. Without hesitation, Lean Ma made the exchange. Congratulations on acquiring the skill. Pupil technique. Blood prison illusion. When an enemy directly looks into the blood pupil, they can be trapped in the illusion of the blood prison, movement restricted, and continuously lose health. Having regained this skill, the blood pupiled ghost smirked. Not bad, kid. I underestimated you. Loyalty increased by 9%. Remaining 10%. Lean Ma quickly headed to the hallway, eager to test his newly acquired ability. He discovered that he not only had night vision, but also a broader field of view. He couldn't help but exclaim, I really hit the jackpot this time. Meanwhile, on the other side, the top students were struggling against the attacks of the ghoul. Just when it seemed they were about to meet their end under the ghoul's claws, the sly-eyed man suggested, why not lead the ghoul to Lean Ma. This way, we can escape. This malicious idea was immediately agreed upon by Twin Ponytails. He would be useful as a meat shield, contributing something to humanity at least. Right at that moment, Lean Ma, completely unaware of their plan, appeared. Without saying a word, the group ran towards him. As the sly-eyed man passed by, he couldn't resist taunting. Lean Ma, your end is near. Confused, Lean Ma soon understood what he meant when he saw several ghouls chasing after them. But instead of panicking, he felt exhilarated. My moment to shine has come. He activated the pupil technique, blood prison illusion. In an instant, several red ghostly beams shot out from Lean Ma's eyes, binding the ghouls in place. Picking up a chainsaw from nearby with a mischievous grin, he said, Hey, little babies, daddy's here. What followed was a graphic scene of the chainsaw in action. The three on the stairs watched Lean Ma in awe, their faces distorted with jealousy. That crippled ghost should have been ours. Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Seeing the three gritting their teeth in frustration, Lean Ma turned back with a smile and said, Thanks. If it weren't for you leading me these ghouls to me. I wouldn't have collected these ghost orbs. However, if you dare to harm me again, I won't spare you. The trio were immediately paralyzed with fear by Lean Ma's menacing gaze. Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Lean Ma glanced at the stunned trio, silently rejoicing. This feels so good. Fresh off his victory, Lean Ma couldn't help but gloat. Bro ghost, was my pinnacle just now cool or what? Don't get cocky, kid. It's all because of my powerful skill. Lean Ma smirked confidently. Regardless of how powerful a contracted ghost is, it still needs a capable master to bring out its full potential. Just then, the system alerted him to a high-level fierce ghost in the operating room ahead. Lean Ma quickly peered through the glass into the room, spotting a sensual ghost inside playing an ancient zither with gusto. Blood pupiled ghost's eye shone brightly. Underbust, 56 centimeters. Bust, 23 centimeters. A standard F cup. Lean Ma couldn't help but chime in. This ghost truly has the face of an angel and the body of a devil. Blood pupiled ghost's loyalty increased by 5%. Lean Ma mockingly remarked, So, is this a mutual recognition between old perverts or what? Just then, the sensual female ghost seemed to sense something and suddenly looked in their direction. Startled, Lean Ma silently asked Blood Pupiled Ghost, This big breasted ghost seems harmless. Is she very powerful? Blood Pupiled Ghost replied in horror. Of course. Do you see the ancient zither with Sanskrit inscriptions? That might be some sort of lethal melody. Lean Ma 
pondered for a moment. No worries. If we strike first and she falls for the pupil technique, we'll have her completely under our control. Blood pupil ghost warned him. It's useless. She's blind. She completely counters me. Upon hearing this, Lin Ma looked inside again. As expected, the sensual ghost's eyes were tightly closed. But having come across such a good-looking high-ranking fierce ghost, Lin Ma was unwilling to give up so easily. It seemed that the only way was to make her emotionally collapse and force her into a contract. Blood pupil ghost quickly tried to dissuade him. Don't court death. If you provoke her now, you're as good as dead. But Lin Ma, blinded by his lust, feared nothing. The brave may end up overextending, while the timid might starve. Such a big female ghost, I must have her. Without further hesitation, he pushed open the operating room door. The female ghost instantly became alert and shouted, Who's there? She immediately began to play her ancient zither. The rapid and intense zither music pierced Lin Ma's ears. In desperation, he shouted, I am a doctor. I'm here to perform surgery on you. Stop. The zither music ceased instantly. Really? She asked. Lin Ma hurriedly stepped forward, extending his hand. Yes. If you don't believe me, smell for yourself. The blind ghost smelled the scent of alcohol on him and truly believed him. Delightedly, she said, Why did it take you so long to arrive? Can I have the surgery now? Lin Ma quickly prepared the surgical bed. Of course. Come over here and lie down. He then took out a massive syringe and told the female ghost, I am going to administer anesthesia to you. Are you ready? Upon hearing this, the female ghost obediently lay down. I am ready. Go ahead. Lin Ma felt a pang of guilt, wondering if what he was doing was too cruel. But the sight of the tempting curves before him made him cast away all his shame. For the happiness of the brothers, let's risk it all. He raised the syringe and plunged it down. The needle instantly pierced the female ghost's arm. Not forgetting his guise, Lin Ma asked her concernedly, Did that hurt? The female female ghost quickly shook her head, indicating it didn't hurt. Upon hearing this, Lin Ma immediately perked up, a mischievous smile spreading across his face. That's good. I missed the vein, so I need to try again. Then Lin Ma began his act. Why did your vein move? Oh no, your skin is too smooth. Let me try again. I missed again. Trust me, I'm a professional. The syringe moved like a sewing machine. Finally, the exasperated female ghost grabbed Lin Ma's hand, stopping him. Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Detection shows big-breasted ghost's emotional collapse has reached 50%. 49% more is needed for a forced contract. Scratching his head, Lin Ma said sheepishly, my apologies. I'll get it right next time. This scene was witnessed by classmates outside the door. A male student whispered incredulously, is he really performing surgery on a ghost? This guy is audaciously brazen. Does he have a screw loose? A female student, however, widened her eyes, a hint of astonishment flashing through her. She suddenly remembered a phrase their teacher once taught. Facing a ghost without fear is the key. Confronting the horror not only increases the chances of survival, but can also turn it into a contracted ghost. Watching Lin Ma's astonishment antics, she couldn't help but wonder who the real slacker in the class was. Inspired by what they saw, the two students decided to emulate Lin Ma in hopes of finding a suitable ghost to contract. Meanwhile, a figure called the Paper Man observed quietly from outside the window. Admiration flickered in his eyes. Lin Ma's temperament and tactics aroused his curiosity and anticipation. Inside the operating room, the big-breasted ghost released Lin Ma's hand and said to him in resignation, Bro, stop with the needles. If you keep going, I'll be full of holes. Just start the surgery. Holding an electric saw, Lin Ma asked her, so what kind of surgery do you want? A gender reassignment or a breast augmentation? The big-breasted ghost quickly shook her head, replying, no, I don't need breast augmentation. In fact, I have gigantomastia. I need to remove some of the tissue. Walking with them is so heavy and tiring. Hearing this, Lin Ma excitedly started the electric saw and said teasingly, such a pity to cut them off. How much are you thinking of removing? The big-breasted ghost replied, about half. A mischievous glint in his eyes, Lin Ma continued his taunts, so, do you want to cut the left half or the right half? Having lost her patience, the big-breasted ghost snapped. Are you crazy? Have you ever heard of a surgery where only one side is removed? It needs to be even, cut from both sides. Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Emotional collapse level has reached 60%. Seeing his tactics were working, Lin Ma, holding the electric saw, deliberately swayed it near the ghost's ear. So, do we cut the top or bottom, front or back? I think cutting the front might not look good. How about we start from the back? Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Emotional collapse level has reached 70%. In the next moment, Lin Ma jumped onto the operating table, continuing to tease the big-breasted ghost. Do you want it minimally invasive or full of scars, painless or super painful? Oh, right, I forgot you declined anesthesia, so I guess you're choosing the super painful option. Congratulations to the host for gaining 40 emotional collapse points. Emotional collapse level has reached 80%. The big-breasted ghost was seething with anger. Yet, Lin Ma kept talking. It's hard to control when removing half. Why not remove all of it? The hospital is having a promotion. Get a card. Push to the brink. The big-breasted ghost roared in complete fury.
Hurry, shut up, you're asking for death. In the next moment, she summoned an ancient zither and started playing it frantically. Big Breasted Ghost's emotional collapse has reached 99%. You can choose to forcibly sign a contract. With a sly grin on his face, Lean Ma said, Sister, calm down. We're not done talking. By now, the female ghost had completely lost her mind. No need. I just want you dead now. Lean Ma replied calmly, Sorry to disappoint you, sister. With a swift move, he pointed his finger and said, Sign. Suddenly, a voice echoed in the Big Breasted Ghost's head. Miss Big Breasted Ghost, do you wish to become Mr. Lean Ma's contracted ghost? To respect and care for him, in sickness and health, for richer or poorer, in good times and bad, to be by his side forever. Do you agree? Frantically playing the zither, she shouted, Hell no, I won't. Wait for me to tear you apart. The voice responded, Miss Big Breasted Ghost agrees. Contract signing in process. Ding! Contract successfully signed. Wait, I did not agree. What kind of coercive clause is this? The next moment, the Big Breasted Ghost transformed into ghostly mist, swirling and being absorbed into Lean Ma's left arm. Lean Ma looked at the prominent M-shaped mark on his arm, his eyes shimmering with excitement. He realized that this was the specific pattern formed after a ghost was fully contracted. In the future, it would be like ordering fast food. Simply press the pattern to summon the Big Breasted Ghost. At this moment, Lean Ma was brimming with confidence. He had already forcibly signed contracts with two ghosts, and he still had a slot left for another. Just then, an angry roar sounded in his mind. You little pervert, let me out now. You're kidnapping a female ghost. Lean Ma chuckled. Didn't you complain about your breasts being too big and heavy for walking? Now that you're fused with me, you don't have to walk. I'm helping you with your troubles. Plus, it would be such a waste to reduce something that many people can't achieve even with eating papayas. As he spoke, he playfully shook his hands. Big breasted ghost was fuming. You, I will smash you with this basketball. The nearby blood pupiled ghost, seeing the wobbling basketball, reluctantly chimed in. You little rascal, you're really asking for it. Feeling quite pleased, Lean Ma ignored the two ghosts and proceeded to open Big Breasted Ghost's attribute panel. To his pleasant surprise, he found out that as an advanced fierce ghost, Big Breasted Ghost's initial loyalty was already at 20%. He couldn't help but smirk, thinking, so female ghosts can also have a change of heart. She verbally resists, but her actions show otherwise. It seems she might have a tiny bit of affection for me since she believes fusing with me might get her out of this ghost hospital. Observing the big 300 points displayed on the attribute panel, Lean Ma delved deeper. He realized that ghost are categorized into various levels like fierce ghost, malevolent spirit, evil spirit, wicked spirit, etc. Each level is divided into beginner, intermediate, and advanced stages. During the fierce ghost and malevolent spirit stages, only one skill can be activated. When they reach the evil spirit level and above, they can activate and upgrade a second skill. This meant that both blood pupiled ghost and big breasted ghost could currently activate only one skill. Without hesitation, Lean Ma decided to first activate big breasted ghost's primary skill. Exchange success successful for Big Breasted Ghost's skill 1, and she acquired the skill. The Sanskrit sound claims life. The next second, a ghostly aura enveloped the area, and an ancient zither appeared in Big Breasted Ghost's hands. Lean Ma, looking at the skill description, had gleaming eyes full of excitement. This skill is too powerful. It can use the zither's melody to disturb the enemy's mind, and even cause a group stun effect. What's even more impressive is that when the enemy's health is below 5%, it can directly execute a kill. Such a powerful crowd control and execution skill, it's even more overpowered than the Blood Prison Illusion. While Blood Prison Illusion can immobilize the opponent, they can still think and even control their contracted ghosts with their minds. However, being stunned is different. It not only immobilizes, but also confuses the mind. It's like turning the opponent into a sitting duck. Add the execution effect, and it's simply a divine skill. With this new incredible skill in hand, Lean Mo realized he still needed a contract with a ghost that had powerful damage capabilities. Slapping his palm in determination, he decided his next step would be to find a high damage assassin or a tanky warrior type contracted ghost. Just then, the hospital's broadcast echoed, attention all test participants, there's one hour left until midnight. The accommodation and meals for participants are determined by the number of ghosts they've contracted. Those with more than one contract can stay in the ICU ward. Participants with one contract are assigned to the general ward. Those without a contract won't have accommodation rights. Special note, accommodation rights can be traded or gifted. Malevolent spirit level ghosts will roam at night. Participants without accommodation rights will be in great danger. Looking at the various malevolent ghosts outside the school gate, continuously roaring and trying to break in, Lean Ma smirked sinisterly. Blood pupiled ghost, big breasted ghost, 
let's go. Now that I've got two ghosts by my side, let's see what this ICU has to offer. Not long ago, twin ponytails and glasses man were looking through the barrier of the ICU at its clean beds and bedding. They couldn't help but feel that compared to this, the general ward was like a pigsty. Thinking about the fact that she might have to stay there, twin ponytails felt chills run down her spine. Bootlicker glasses man quickly tried to console twin ponytails. Look at the long-haired girl across from us. She hasn't contracted a single ghost and she's crying. We're fortunate to have a place to stay. The very next second, his good mood vanished. It was because Lean Moss strolled over leisurely, holding a grudge for having his ghost snatched away. Glasses man immediately began to bluster. Lean Ma, we've also contracted a ghost, and it's a complete one. We can crush your pathetic half-ghost in a minute. Let's see if you're still so arrogant. Lean Ma chuckled lightly. Glasses man, you're just a croaking toad. With your slow pace, you're only fit to eat my dust. Glasses man gritted his teeth in anger. You're just a lucky trash talker who happened to contract half a ghost. Otherwise, you'd be sleeping in the corridor. We'll see how you fare then. Twin ponytails, with a disdainful look, chimed in. The thought of sharing a room with a loser like you tonight makes me feel nauseated. Lean Ma calmly retorted, don't flatter yourself. If you want to stay with me, better eat more papayas first. The next moment, the crying long-haired girl shouted excitedly, that's great. Are you giving up your right to stay in the general ward? I'll pay for it. Lean Ma chuckled, I'm planning to stay in the ICU. Sell it to you? What are you thinking? Hearing this, both twin ponytails and glasses man were taken aback. With your pathetic 0.5 contract limit, you think you can stay in the ICU? If you can get in there, I'll wash my hair while doing a handstand. Do you even know your own abilities? Who knew? Lean Ma merely waved them off disdainfully. Move aside, move aside. I don't care what you think. A good dog doesn't block the way. With that, he reached out and touched the screen in front of the ICU. Scanning, scan complete, qualified. A blue light swirled, and the barrier in front of the ICU vanished. Watching the disappearing barrier, twin ponytails and glasses man stared in shock and exclaimed, impossible. Isn't his talent limit only 0.5? Twin ponytails was even more enraged. Something's wrong. He's cheating. Talents are innate. They can't be changed later in life. He must have used some method to deceive the formation. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 150 emotional collapse points. Still not giving up. Twin ponytails continued to shout, little trash, come out. I'm going to report you. Lean Ma, with his newly earned points, simply disdainfully flicked his ear and walked into the ICU room. As he stepped in, he was delighted to find a steaming pot of hot pot on the table. To make it even better, it was already filled with slices of meat, duck's blood, and tripe. Lean Ma's appreciation for the examination committee skyrocketed. Everything he wanted was right there. Being starving, Lean Ma didn't hesitate and began to feast. After satiating his hunger, he didn't forget about the two envious individuals outside. Holding his bowl, he walked over to Twin Ponytails and Glasses Man, clicking his tongue. This taste is absolutely amazing. Even better than the hot pot outside. Oh, right, I forgot you can't come in. What a pity. Guess I'll just have to enjoy it all by myself. If only there was a cold cola to go with it. Glasses Man and Twin Ponytails were fuming with rage. Lean Ma, just you wait. Hey, skinny dude inside. Come out. I'll give you $10,000. Sell this room to me. Twin Ponytails, drooling, demanded Lean Ma to swap rooms with him. Who do you think you are? Asking me to sell just like that? You wanna buy the saliva I've tasted with just $10,000? You're really full of yourself. Lean Ma replied with disdain. He was just trying to earn more points. As for the room, it was simply non-negotiable. Twin Ponytails, suppressing her rage, continued to persuade. I just want the room. Once you're done with the hot pot, get out. Think about it carefully. My dad is a high-level executive in the security bureau. Crossing me won't do you any good. Just then, the eager-to-please bootlicker, Glasses Man, also began to shout, Lean Ma, don't be so arrogant. If you offend Miss Sun, after the college entrance exam, I'll make sure you're done for. Seeing Glasses Man acting like a rabid dog, Lean Ma had a plan. Wanting to switch rooms isn't impossible, he declared. Approaching the barrier, he smirked at the duo. Here's the deal. This mad dog has been nipping at my heels. If you slap him for me, I'll consider it. Glasses Man, upon hearing this, was instantly livid, his teeth grinding in anger. Lean Ma, you're asking for it. Come out now. I'll end you. Unexpectedly, twin ponytails suddenly held him back. Lose A. Calm down. Bear with it for now. Once we're out, I'll make it up to you. She whispered to Glasses Man. Once we leave, I'll help you get your revenge. Glasses Man thought for a moment, enduring some humiliation now in exchange for the Sun family's protection later. Worth it. Reluctantly, he said, fine, do it. No sooner had he spoken than there was a slap sound. Twin ponytails lightly smacked Glasses Man's face. Congratulations congratulations to the host for obtaining 20 emotional collapse points. Just when the two thought they had accomplished their goal, Lean Ma suddenly remarked, didn't you have your meal? There's no strength in that slap. I couldn't hear anything from inside. Glasses Man was almost driven mad by rage and was about to curse. But then, another slap sound echoed. Twin ponytails, without a word, slapped Glasses Man again. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 30 emotional collapse points. After the slap, Glasses Man spun around twice on the spot, seeing
shining stars and trembling all over, twin ponytails, pointing at Lean Ma, demanded in a shrill voice, scrawny guy, are you satisfied now, hurry up and get out, unexpectedly, Lean Ma, who had just gained some points, scoffed, sorry, no deal, twin ponytails was so furious she gritted her teeth, you bastard, you broke your promise, Lean Ma chuckled, I never broke my word, it's your fault for not thinking clearly, I only said if you slapped him, I'd consider it, I never said I'd definitely swap rooms, I was just playing with you, after that, Lean Ma ignored them and turned back to continue eating, twin ponytails, eyes bloodshot with anger and resentment, shouted, damn you, you dared to trick me, wait for it, I'll make you regret this someday, lose a, let's go, congratulations to the host for obtaining 100 emotional collapse points, a voice announced, seeing this score, Lean Ma paused from picking up his food, looks like Sun Lily really lost her mind this time, gifting me 100 points in one go, this was a big win, glasses man, nursing his slapped face, fumed, once you offend the Sun family, Lean Ma, enjoy your moment of bravado, let's see how you end up once we're out, soon, the clock struck 11.15, and the corridor lights began to dim one by one, only two individuals, a tall guy and a long-haired girl, remained outside the rooms, the girl, tears streaming down her face, pitifully pleaded while clutching the boy's hand, Wu Kuen, can you really bear to let me, a girl, sleep in the corridor, what if a malevolent spirit comes at night, can you please let me have the room, Lean Ma, having had his fill and sensing some juicy gossip, perked up his ears to eavesdrop, the boy turned around, holding the girl's hand, and assured her with deep affection, don't worry, I've contracted a warrior type ghost, if you're attacked, just shout for me, and I'll come out to save you immediately, but the terrified girl wasn't consoled by his words, do you truly love me, does your vow to protect me still stand, the boy fell silent for a moment upon hearing her words, the next second, the girl threw herself into his arms and spoke, since you've contracted a ghost, you definitely have better combat abilities than me, sleeping outside, you'd have a higher survival rate, even if you really get attacked by a ghost, I'd kneel down and beg some lily and the others to rescue you, I'll make sure you're unharmed, after saying this, she looked up and passionately kissed the boy, Wu Kuen, I love you, would you sacrifice everything for your love for me, deep emotion, the boy responded, I would, take the room, I'll guard you, hearing this exchange, Lin Ma shook his head, thinking, what a fool, however, as the boy escorted the girl into the room, he remained oblivious to the red mist that began to envelop him from behind, not long after, having had his fill, Lin Ma lay down and was soon fast asleep, snoring loudly enough that the noise permeated the walls and reached the regular ward next door, twin ponytails, clearly irritated, clenched her fists tightly, glasses man seized the opportunity to fan the flames, Lin Ma must have cheated, how can that loser, with his terrible grades, get such a good spot, the key point is he doesn't want to swap with you, he's probably just wanting to see you humiliated, after hearing this, twin ponytails grew even angrier, when have I, son Lily, ever been treated like this, her eyes narrowed maliciously as she vowed, once I get out, I'll make him pay, however, a second later, she screamed in disgust, why is there dried blood all over this bed, how am I supposed to sleep on this, proving himself a true bootlicker, glasses man immediately removed his shirt to lay it over the bed, saying, there, it's cleaner now, rest for a while, seeing glasses man's thoughtful gesture, twin ponytails smiled appreciatively, you really understand, don't worry, once we're out, I'll definitely help you get revenge, meanwhile, in the corridor, Wu Kuen was nervously checking his watch, hoping that time would pass quickly, if he could make it till dawn, he would be free, but in the next moment, a roar echoed from the far end of the corridor, causing him to jump in fright, from the darkness, the sound of thumping footsteps approached, and amidst the ghostly atmosphere, a pair of blood red eyes appeared, a towering figure, over two meters tall, wearing a horrifying mask and wielding a chainsaw, a fierce ghost, the ghost growled constantly, such delicious human flesh, in an instant, Wu Kuen was drenched in cold sweat from fear, to his horror, it was a malevolent spirit level chainsaw ghost, he wailed in despair, I'm just a beginner, how can I deal with a malevolent spirit level ghost, but the chainsaw ghost paid him no mind and steadily advanced, forcing Wu Kuen to retreat, backed into a corner with no escape, Wu Kuen decided to confront the threat head on, he pressed his arm and shouted, come out, broken axe ghost, the next moment, a ghostly face, accompanied by eerie mist, emerged from his arm, suddenly, in front of him stood a ghost wielding a broken axe, the broken axe ghost, having been rudely awakened in the middle of the night, looked irritated, he glared menacingly at Wu Kuen, before he could voice his annoyance, the roaring of a chainsaw approached, the chainsaw ghost, brandishing his weapon, charged forward shouting, meat, I want meat, I need to eat, the broken axe ghost, now fully alert, looked terrified, he turned to Wu Kuen and asked, kid, do you think I can defeat him, however, Wu Kuen was out of options, all he could do now was give it his all, with a mere thought, he directed the broken axe ghost to confront the oncoming threat, there was a loud clang as the chainsaw collided with the massive axe, producing sparks everywhere, people in the general ward, who had been woken up by the commotion, watched in horror as the broken axe ghost was repeatedly knocked back in the corridor, suddenly, a male student turned and shouted to a long-haired girl hiding under her blanket, 
Isn't that your boyfriend? Don't you love him? Why aren't you helping him? Unexpectedly, in the next second, the girl pulled her blanket over her and lay back down, playing the role of an ostrich. She kept mumbling, it has nothing to do with me. I don't know him. Don't involve me. This shameless act left everyone speechless. At that moment, Lean Ma chuckled and approached the barrier, wearing his clothes. Let's see if this chainsaw ghost is worth making a pact with, he mused. Suddenly, a painful scream echoed through the corridor. The chainsaw ghost's large foot stomped heavily on the head of the broken axe ghost. The whirring of his chainsaw could be heard as it sliced through the arm of the broken axe ghost, who struggled desperately but couldn't move. With a couple of crunches, the arms of the broken axe ghost were sawed off. The chainsaw ghost, in his excitement, the severed arm and started chewing. However, after just a couple of bites, he spat it out in disgust. Rotten and stinky. Ghost meat tastes terrible. I want fresh meat. In the next moment, he raised his chainsaw and swung it towards the neck of the broken axe ghost. Before a scream could be emitted, the head of the broken axe ghost was severed, rolling directly to the feet of Lean Ma. Lean Ma, instead of being frightened by the sight of the severed head, was filled with excitement. This chainsaw ghost is quite fierce, taking down the broken axe ghost in a flash. Moreover, he's tall and massive. Not only does he have a lot of health, but his attack power is impressive too. Lean Ma possessed the blood pupiled ghost's blood realm illusion and the big breasted ghost's stun. Two control skills. What he lacked was a warrior ghost who could tank and attack. This chainsaw ghost seemed to be a perfect fit. It seems that after dawn, I should find a way to form a pact with him, he contemplated. Meanwhile, having defeated the broken axe ghost so effortlessly, the chainsaw ghost roared, I want flesh. I need meat. He continued to approach Wu Kuen, cornering him like an eagle catching a chick. It was only then that Wu Kuen fully snapped back to reality. Xiao Qian, open the door quickly. Get someone to save me, he screamed. But inside the ward, Xiao Qian, paralyzed by fear, was trembling under the blanket, murmuring, I can't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Don't involve me. It was your decision. Watching this ironic scene unfold, Lin Ma sighed. Is this what love looks like between Wu Kuen and Xiao Qian? On the other side, Wu Kuen was still frantically calling for help, but there was no response from anyone. The chainsaw ghost, drawing nearer, could smell the fresh scent of Wu Kuen's flesh. In the next moment, he swung his chainsaw directly towards Wu Kuen. With no choice left, Wu Kuen stopped his cries, took a deep breath, and tried to dodge the incoming attack. However, the death of his contract ghost dealt a significant blow to Wu Kuen. After dodging another attack from the chainsaw ghost, Wu Kuen desperately lunged, attempting to slip between the ghost's legs. Unfortunately, the chainsaw ghost responded quickly, lifting his knee and landing a heavy blow on Wu Kuen. The impact sent Wu Kuen flying, coughing up a mouthful of blood before crashing into a wall. Smelling the fresh blood in the air, the chainsaw ghost grew more restless. I want to eat meat. Seeing Wu Kuen sitting on the ground, weakened and defenseless, the chainsaw ghost raised his chainsaw, aiming for Wu Kuen's arm. Despite Wu Kuen's painful screams and struggles, he was powerless to stop it. In the next moment, his left arm was severed. The chainsaw ghost eagerly grabbed the arm and stuffed it into his mouth. Fresh meat, so delicious, really delicious. Within moments, he devoured the flesh, leaving only the white bones behind. His attention then turned to Wu Kuen's thigh. Meat, I want more meat. There's more meat here, he exclaimed, swinging his chainsaw towards Wu Kuen's leg. Bracing himself against the excruciating pain, Wu Kuen quickly leapt away. Seeing his imminent demise, he frantically reached for a teleportation talisman, hoping to rip it open. After all, failing the assessment was better than losing his life. Unfortunately, the quality of the talisman was too high, and Wu Kuen, now weakened and left with only one hand, couldn't tear it apart. Just as the chainsaw was about to land on Wu Kuen's thigh, Lin Ma couldn't stand by any longer. He shouted, You big fool, can't you bite and tear the talisman with your mouth? Upon hearing Lin Ma's suggestion, Wu Kuen quickly snapped back to reality. He bit down on the teleportation talisman and pulled with all his might. In the next moment, as the chainsaw ghost's weapon sliced down, a flash of golden light enveloped Wu Kuen, making him disappear just in time. Thank you, Lin Ma, he murmured from somewhere distant. Meanwhile, the hospital's loudspeaker blared an announcement. Wu Kuen, out, seeing his meal vanish right before his eyes. Chainsaw Ghost was seething with rage. His ghostly aura intensified as he roared at Lin Ma. Where's my meat? Give it back. Congratulations to the host for earning 40 emotional collapse points. Lin Ma, now safely tucked inside the ICU, cheekily taunted the Chainsaw Ghost, sticking his tongue out. Come and get me. If you can catch me, I'll let you eat. This only fueled the Chainsaw Ghost's anger. He charged straight to the ICU. ICU's entrance, shouting, you're going to pay for this, I'll cut you down. He revved up his chainsaw and aimed it at the protective barrier. Lin Ma, observing that the barrier was unscathed even after the sparks flew, deliberately yawned exaggeratedly. Then, an idea popped into his head. He took the leftover spicy hot pot base and poured it over his arm, grinning mischievously, smell this. Does it smell good? Do you want a bite? Outside the barrier, Chainsaw Ghost was enticed by the tantalizing aroma of meat mixed with the scents of cumin and pepper. He drooled uncontrollably, pressing his face against the barrier, desperately trying to get closer to the source of the aroma. 
seeing this, Lin Ma exaggeratedly waved his season arm in front of the ghost, making more faces, further provoking the hungry chainsaw ghost. In the very next second, the excessively provoked chainsaw ghost swung his chainsaw wildly, trying to tear through the protective barrier. Congratulations to the host for earning 60 emotional collapse points, the disembodied voice announced again. Just as Lin Ma was about to further tease the chainsaw ghost, the ghost suddenly ceased his actions. I can't break it, I can't get to the meat. Realizing that his efforts were futile and the barrier remained intact, he switched off his chainsaw and looked downcast, preparing to walk away. Now, Lin Ma became a tad unsettled. If he couldn't keep the ghost in a state of emotional collapse, how would he accomplish the compulsory contract? Without wasting a moment, Lin Ma started unlocking the barrier. Hey, foolish ghost! Lin Ma exclaimed as he stepped out. Here I am. Want some meat? It's cumin flavored. The word meat immediately got the chainsaw ghost's attention. He turned around eagerly. Meat. I want meat. Meanwhile, in a regular hospital room, twin ponytails and glasses man stared in disbelief at Lin Ma's seemingly suicidal actions. They couldn't help but feel a mix of shock and schadenfreude. As the chainsaw ghost, drawn by the aroma of cumin-flavored meat, roared and charged towards Lin Ma. No one expected Lin Ma to swiftly step back inside the protective barrier. There was a resounding thud as the chainsaw ghost crashed against the barrier, Starling Glass's man who was observing the scene. Congratulations to the host for earning 50 emotional collapse points. After a moment of frustrated rage at the barrier, chainsaw ghost resignedly started to walk away. But just a few steps out, the mischievous Lin Ma jumped out again, shouting, Foolish ghost! Foolish ghost! Come and get the meat. Feeling insulted, Chainsaw Ghost charged back. But Lean Ma, true to his style, jumped back into the safety of the barrier again. Everyone watched as Lean Ma toyed with the Chainsaw Ghost, akin to someone teasing a monkey. They couldn't help but exclaim, Lean Ma is truly a sadistic madman. Glasses Man, who had a strong dislike for Lean Ma, thought maliciously, wait till tomorrow morning when the barrier disappears. We'll see how the Chainsaw Ghost flays Lean Ma live. Lean Ma's repeated taunts finally drove Chainsaw Ghost to the edge, completely breaking his spirit. Instead of continuing the game, Chainsaw Ghost turned away and ran off. Yet, the next moment, everyone screamed in horror. Astonishingly, Lean Ma was chasing after Chainsaw Ghost. A hilarious scene unfolded in this A-level examination arena. A high school student was madly chasing a malevolent spirit-level ghost. Lean Ma did this because at this point, the emotional collapse value of Chainsaw Ghost had reached 80%. There was no way Lean Ma would let him get away so easily. Catching up with Chainsaw Ghost, Lean Ma rolled up his sleeves, shouting at the ghost, Come and see! Freshly baked human arm right here. The tantalizing aroma of flesh made Chainsaw Ghost tremble with desire. Without a second thought, he revved up his chainsaw, aiming straight for Lean Ma. Damn you, playing tricks on me again? I'll end you. In the very next second, Lean Ma's expression shifted, activating his pupil technique, blood prison illusion. In an instant, Chainsaw Ghost was immobilized. With the buzzing chainsaw overhead, Lean Ma approached him with a wicked grin. He dangled his arm near Chainsaw Ghost's mouth, teasing, silly ghost, doesn't my flesh smell delicious? It's lean yet not dry, fatty, but not greasy. Prime quality meat. This move drove Chainsaw Ghost to utter despair, his mouth even biting his own tongue. Detecting that Chainsaw Ghost's emotional collapse had reached 90% and was just 9% away from a direct contract, Lean Ma became increasingly desperate. With only a few seconds left of the Blood Prison Illusion's 10-second control time, Lean Ma cheekily slapped Chainsaw Ghost's face. Eat it, silly ghost. Don't you love meat? Here it is. Handed to you on a silver platter. You don't want to eat anymore? Guess you don't like it then. I won't feed you. It's said one shouldn't hit a person's face. Even a ghost has its dignity. With a thundering crash, the moment the countdown ended, Chainsaw Ghost viciously swung his chainsaw down. Deeply humiliated, his entire being seated with ghostly rage as he roared, Damn brat, I'll kill you, I swear I'll kill you. Detecting Chainsaw Ghost's emotional collapse had reached 99%, an option to forcibly contract appeared. The moment Lean Ma saw the system prompt, he excitedly chose to initiate. In the next moment, a voice echoed in Chainsaw Ghost's mind, Mr. Chainsaw Ghost, would you like to become Mr. Lean Ma's contracted ghost? to respect him, cherish him, never leave nor forsake him, and accompany him forever, do you agree? And then promptly continued, thank you for your agreement, congratulations on the successful contract. Chainsaw Ghost, utterly bewildered, yelled, I didn't say a word, I agreed to nothing. Yet, the next second, he was transformed into a wisp of ghostly energy and absorbed into Lean Ma's arm. Grinning widely, Lean Ma admired the chainsaw tattoo on his arm, thinking, he, the third contracted ghost is mine. Meanwhile, the exam proctor, known as Paper Man, observed everything that had transpired. He was utterly surprised. Just a moment ago, Chainsaw Ghost was raging, and now he was contracted. Forcing a contract was something even the big shots of the security bureau couldn't achieve. This made Paper Man immensely curious about Lean Ma. Suddenly, the hospital's broadcast system activated. Chainsaw Ghost has been eliminated. Only one malevolent spirit-level ghost remains. Everyone, please be cautious. Hearing this, Twin Ponytails and others were taken aback. 
glasses man exclaimed even louder, impossible, Lin Ma only contracted a blood pupiled ghost, how could he possibly defeat Chainsaw Ghost, the next second, they saw Lin Ma walking in confidently and nonchalantly, congratulations, host, for gaining 40 emotional collapse points, came a message, which made Lin Ma chuckle, these two fools keep providing me with points even when I ignore them, he thought, truly, they are my wonderful classmates, seeing the envy, jealousy, and hate on the faces of his peers, Lin Ma felt exceptionally delighted, he immediately opened Chainsaw Ghost's attribute panel to take a closer look, Chainsaw Ghost, being a malevolent spirit level ghost, was impressive, he had two skills ready to be activated upon contracting, which was great, although his loyalty was a bit low, Lin Ma figured that he had indeed angered Chainsaw Ghost quite a bit previously. Luckily, the ghost seemed rather dull-witted. Feeding him some pork should probably improve his loyalty. He also mentally thanked Twin Ponytails and Glasses Man for their inadvertent contributions that allowed him to accumulate a substantial amount of emotional collapse points. Lin Ma promptly decided to activate both of Chainsaw Ghost's skills. Congratulations on acquiring Skill 1. Passive, Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty LV1. For every point of damage taken, increase attack power by 2 points. The more the damage, the greater the increase in attack power. Congratulations on acquiring skill 2, Chainsaw Frantic Dance, Skill Effect. Chainsaw Ghost frantically swings his chainsaw, dealing indiscriminate damage to the surroundings. Looking at Chainsaw Ghost's two skills, Lin Ma couldn't help but marvel. One was a passive skill that increased attack power, and the other was an AoE skill that dealt area damage. This combination is really impressive. With these new skills, Lin Ma's weak points had been significantly shored up. He now had Crowd Control, a tanky ghost who could absorb damage, and a warrior ghost for dealing damage. My combat capabilities must now exceed 90% of my peers, he assumed. However, there was one downside. Lin Ma's current level as a ghost master was relatively low. He could only control fierce ghosts, and controlling a malevolent spirit level ghost like Chainsaw Ghost was a bit of a stretch. Normally, a first level ghost master controls fierce ghosts, a second level ghost master controls malevolent spirits, and a third level ghost master is able to control evil spirits. Lin Ma was only a first level ghost master. If he forcibly controlled Chainsaw Ghost, there was a risk of losing control. If that happened, Lin Ma might literally have to feed himself to the ghost. Only when the ghost's loyalty was sufficiently high could the risk of losing control be somewhat reduced. Lin Ma pondered for a moment, thinking that once he got back, he would need to quickly raise Chainsaw Ghost's loyalty. The next moment, he yawned loudly and immediately collapsed onto the bed. With my tasks done, it's time for a well-deserved rest. Soon after, having had a good meal and a sound sleep, Lin Ma, feeling refreshed, strolled out of his ward munching on a piece of bread. He happened to run into the sleep-deprived twin ponytails and her group, their eyes bloodshot. Seeing Lin Ma's bread, their stomachs immediately growled in hunger. Lin Ma, noticing their hungry gazes, smirked mischievously. Did you guys skip breakfast? I have some leftover hot pot soup. It would be a waste to feed it to the dogs. How about I give it to you instead? Upon hearing his sarcastic offer, the group was seething with anger. You little twerp, you're really insufferable. One of them spat. Congratulations, host, for gaining 60 emotional collapse points. Lin Ma's delight was akin to finding money the moment he woke up. Just then, Xiao Qian emerged from her room, looking equally worn out. Everyone attention was instantly drawn to her, their gazes sharp and accusatory. After her betrayal and selfish actions from the day before, she had become a pariah among the group. Lin Ma couldn't resist mocking her, Miss Xiao Qian, looking at the blood on the floor. Don't you have something to say? Surprisingly, Xiao Qian shot Lin Ma a disdainful glance. It's not like I forced him to give up his room. He volunteered. Besides, he didn't die. Why are you making it your business? Lin Ma's anger rose upon hearing her shameless response. Didn't you say you'd kneel and beg for someone to save him? Yet last night, I don't remember hearing even a single plea from you. If Wu Kuen hadn't given up his room, Chainsaw Ghost would have dragged you out to use you as fertilizer by now. Xiao Qian's face turned pale at Lin Ma's scathing remarks. Congratulations, host, for gaining 50 emotional collapse points. Lin Ma looked at Xiao Qian with disdain. You look like a QR code to me. Without scanning, one wouldn't know what kind of person you truly are. Now that you don't have Wu Kuen to protect you, let's see what you'll do next. Just then, a figure, resembling a paper cutout, appeared in the sky above the hospital, announcing the special mode of of the A-level assessment, Battle Royale mode has started. A mid-level malevolent spirit and three initial level fierce ghosts will now begin hunting you all. You must survive until noon to pass the assessment. Everyone was stunned by the announcement. A mid-level malevolent spirit. Even the fierce
fearsome chainsaw ghost was just an initial level malevolent spirit. The spirits they had contracted with were merely initial level fierce ghosts, which combined wouldn't stand a chance against a mid-level malevolent spirit. Yellow hair, the most timid of the group, began to shiver and hesitantly suggested, should we, run? Twin ponytails looked at him as if he was an idiot. Run? Where? What if we run straight into the den of the malevolent spirit? At that moment, Lin Ma spotted a ghastly ghost slowly crawling up behind Xiao Qian. With its crimson tongue extended, it was inching closer to Xiao Qian's head. To his astonishment, no one seemed to notice it, continuing their bickering. The ghost, two sets of rimmed eyes, was about to wrap its tongue around Xiao Qian's neck when Lin Mo realized that no one else seemed to see the spirit. It clicked in his mind that, after merging with the blood pupiled ghost, he acquired the ability to see certain invisible spirits. Covering his right eye to test his theory, the ghost indeed vanished from sight. Lin Ma was taken aback. Damn, it's an invisible spirit. It can actually cloak itself. Thank goodness I merged with blood pupiled ghost. He couldn't help but think, bro ghost, this blood eye ability of yours is pretty powerful. The blood pupiled ghost responded with a hint of pride. It's just basic functionality. Keeping his eye on the invisible spirit, Lin Ma began to back away slowly, calling out to twin ponytails and the others. You wanted to know where the ghost is, right? Isn't it right behind you? However, it seemed they had developed a sort of Lin Ma syndrome where they wouldn't believe anything he said. Annoyed, one of them retorted, enough of your nonsense, Lin Ma. Do you think you're funny? Xiao Qian joined in the ridicule. You're such a nosy person and always spouting nonsense. But in the next moment, a ghostly claw violently pierced through her abdomen. Xiao Qian looked down at the large hole in her belly and screamed in terror. Help me. Everyone was startled, yelling, there really is a ghost, but they couldn't see it. Where is this ghost? They watched in horror as Xiao Qian was strangled by an unseen force, her bones crunching loudly. In the next second, her head was sent flying, and her body split in two. The hospital's intercom promptly announced, Xiao Qian, out. Gazing at the severed limbs on the floor, everyone was petrified. We didn't even see the ghost, and she was brutally murdered like this. Lin Ma shook his head in exasperation. I told you there was a ghost right behind you, but you didn't believe me. He felt no sympathy for Xiao Qian's death. If she hadn't been so selfish, she might have just lost an arm the night before, not her life. Without hesitation, Lin Ma dashed away. Now that the invisible spirit had started its hunt, and he could see it with his blood eye, all he needed to do was avoid it and survive until noon. At that moment, twin ponytails noticed Xiao Qian's arm mysteriously lifting itself from the ground. After a brief moment of contemplation, she understood. It must be an invisible spirit. It's invisible now, which is why we can't see it. Lin Ma can see it because of the blood pupil he acquired from merging with the blood pupiled ghost. She quickly led Glass's man and the others to chase after Lin Ma, realizing that as long as they stayed close to him, they would know where the ghost was. Hearing this, Glass's man felt a pang of regret, as if he had made a grave mistake. Damn it, we were the first to discover that blood pupiled ghost, and this sneaky brat snatched it away from us. Suddenly, an unexpected system prompt came up. Congratulations to the host for acquiring 40 emotional collapse points. Lin Ma was dumbfounded. How on earth did I earn emotional collapse points just by running? Whose fragile heart did I shatter this time? When he turned around, he saw the three tailgaters chasing after him, which irked him, and the invisible spirit hot on their heels was even more troublesome. If he kept leading these guys on, he'd effectively be leading the invisible spirit to him. He needed to shake them off. Just then, the chainsaw ghost erupted from Lin Ma's arm, roaring, let me out, I wanna kill this ghost. Lin Ma hurriedly asked the chainsaw ghost what was going on. It turned out that the invisible spirit had stolen a lot of food from him in the past. As a ghost that loved to eat, chainsaw ghost held a deep grudge for this theft. Seeing that chainsaw ghost was about to break free from his bond, Lin Ma felt helpless. Given chainsaw ghost's current loyalty, there was a high risk of rebellion. Only by helping him kill the invisible spirit would he truly submit. In the next moment, Lin Ma braked sharply, spinning around to stand his ground. Seeing Lin Ma halt, the three tailgaters anxiously inquired if it was safe. Lin Ma shot them a glance. If we keep running like this, our legs will be worn out by noon. Hearing this, Yellow Hair became frantic. What should we do then? Currently, only you can see the ghost. If you lead us, I promise to repay you generously when we're out. To this, Lin Ma just rolled up his sleeves, giving Yellow Hair a disdainful look. If you want to run, go ahead. I'm tired of running. I'm going to take down this invisible spirit. Twin Ponytails looked at Lin Ma as if he was an idiot and immediately mocked him, saying he was courting death. The invisible spirit is a mid-level malevolent spirit. Even the school teachers might not be able to defeat it. Glasses man smirked maliciously. It'd be better if he died. Eyes. Then no one would compete with you for the MVP title. Let's hide and enjoy the show. Just then, with a whooshing sound, the invisible spirit appeared before them. The next second, Lin Ma saw the invisible spirit clinging to the ceiling, lunging towards him. The spirit opened its massive mouth, aiming to bite Lin Ma's neck. Lin Ma's right eye widened in anticipation, preparing to activate the pupil technique. But in the next moment, the invisible spirit vanished from his sight, only to reappear behind him instantaneously. Its speed was so fast it
that seemed to be teleporting. Lin Ma's heart raced, realizing the danger. Just as he was about to turn around, the invisible spirit was already lunging with its sharp claws, seemingly about to crush Lin Ma's head as if it were a watermelon. The scene frightened twin ponytails and the others, who closed their eyes, thinking that Lin Ma was done for. All these events were quietly documented by paper figures floating above the hospital, sending the information back to the real-world assessment command room. The actual assessment teachers were observing the situation. A buzz-cut teacher looked worried as all seven students from his designated test area had failed. Four of them were critically injured and withdrew, while three had died. Another teacher, with a full head of white hair, sighed in resignation. All eight students from his area had also failed, with one even being sent directly to a psychiatric hospital. They couldn't help but lament the lack of capable candidates these days. Beside them, a beautiful, leggy female teacher with developed pectoral muscles continued to focus intently on the screen. The buzzcut teacher curiously asked, Amin, how are things on your end? Teacher Amin casually responded, four of my students are still undergoing the assessment. Buzzcut was taken aback, which school are they from? That's impressive, four of them are still in. Teacher Amin sighed, it's a pity that the young man is actually confronting the malevolent spirit head on. Hearing this, both the buzzcut and the white-haired teachers immediately gathered around to watch. Seeing Lin Ma turning back to face the invisible spirit directly, the buzzcut teacher felt that Lin Ma was getting overconfident after obtaining a contracted ghost. However, the white-haired teacher greatly admired Lin Ma's courage to take the risk. But admiration aside, given the absolute power of the invisible spirit, all three didn't have high hopes for Lin Ma's outcome. Teacher Amen couldn't help but sigh. Such a promising talent wasted. At that moment, inside the hospital, twin ponytails and the others were astonished to find Lin Ma unharmed. Lin Ma quickly summoned the big-breasted ghost and activated the technique the Sanskrit sound claims life, immobilizing the invisible spirit in mid-air. Seeing Lin Ma summon another contracted ghost, Yellow Hair was puzzled. Wasn't Lin Ma's contract limit only 0.5? How can he contract multiple ghosts? Glasses Man was even more incredulous. Can the contract limit be increased? With the previous wretched ghost and this big-breasted ghost, doesn't he have a limit of 1.5 now? Having previously become enemies with Lin Ma, Glasses Man secretly rejoiced, thinking, thank goodness, even if he increased it, he still has less than me. My contract limit is 2. However, his joy was premature. Lin Ma gave a slight smile, rolled up his sleeve to press on the chainsaw pattern, and with a beep, the towering chainsaw ghost was summoned. The moment he appeared, he was eager to start his chainsaw, seeking revenge on the invisible spirit. The immobilized invisible spirit immediately panicked, struggling frantically. Lin Ma gestured forward, go on, chainsaw ghost, chop him down for me. The next second, the already ravenous chainsaw ghost raised his chainsaw and swung it at the invisible spirit. The hard exterior of the invisible spirit couldn't withstand the full-blown rage of a foodie. How dare you steal my meat? Chainsaw ghost roared as he furiously slashed at the invisible spirit. Amidst the buzzing chainsaw noises, the invisible spirit was hacked with flesh flying everywhere. In no time, under Lin Ma's stunned gaze, the invisible spirit's health was reduced to below 5%. The next moment, the killing skill of the Sanskrit sound claims life was triggered. The body of the invisible spirit exploded on the spot, turning into an intermediate level malevolent spirit pearl that fell to the ground. Chainsaw ghost's loyalty increased by 20%, remaining 25%. The system's notification made Lin Ma overjoyed. This chainsaw ghost is really driven by his appetite. His moods are solely based on whether he has meat to eat or not. When we get out, I should buy him some pork. That will surely skyrocket his loyalty. Pleased, Lin Ma picked up the spirit pearl from the ground. Selling this spirit pearl will get me enough pork to feed chainsaw ghost for a long time. It's like the invisible spirit repaying his debt to chainsaw ghost. Then, with a light command of mission accomplished, Lin Ma recalled both the big-breasted ghost and chainsaw ghost. Only now did twin ponytails and the others realize that Lin Ma had contracted the chainsaw ghost. Glasses man's face turned ashen in an instant. The contracting talent he was always proud of had been surpassed by Lin Ma. It was more painful to him than death. Twin ponytails words further added insult to injury. He even activated these ghost skills. The talent and insight displayed by Lin Ma also instilled a strong sense of threat in twin ponytails. She looked at Lin Ma's silhouette, her eyes flashing with a hint of malevolence. Having offended Lin Ma in this assessment, I can't let him grow any stronger. Otherwise, he will become a major threat in the future. Meanwhile, Lin Ma's impressive performance left the teachers in the command room astounded. This kid contracted three ghosts in a single day. He's almost on par with the big shots from the military district. Moreover, he activated their skills and managed them so proficiently in battle. Such a promising talent, the cropped hair teacher, with an embarrassed look, self-mockingly commented, after all the fuss, it turns out I was the fool. The white-haired teacher, who had always held Lin Ma in high regard, was full of praise. He openly stated that Lin Ma's performance could now be compared to that of Gao Shershir, the genius daughter of the director of the security bureau. Just then, the minister walked in. After the teacher,
teachers hastily briefed him on Lin Ma's assessment performance. The minister specifically instructed teacher Amen to personally contact Lin Ma and his school after the assessment concluded. They wanted to prioritize Lin Ma's development and training. Back in the hospital, Lin Ma stood leisurely on the rooftop, gazing at the city that had become a realm of ghosts. The pervasive scent of blood and the ghosts roaming every street didn't frighten him. Instead, they filled him with excitement and anticipation. He fantasized about a future where he would contract all these ghosts, ultimately becoming a paramount figure in this world. The uneasy felt since his sudden transition into this world had now completely vanished. Taking advantage of the fact that the college entrance examination hadn't ended, Lin Ma, accompanied by blood-pupiled ghost, wandered around the hospital, looking for any opportunities or loot. To his surprise, he discovered that many of the skeletal remains had a considerable amount of valuables left on them. The duo excitedly embarked on a scavenging spree, thoroughly cleaning out the hospital. All the while, a paper man figure observing them lamented, these two won't even spare the dead. As the clock struck 12, the paper man appeared at the hospital's entrance, announcing to Lin Ma and the others that the assessment had ended and it was time to tally the results. Wu Kun and Xiao Qian, having dropped out midway, scored zero points. Yellow hair contracted one fierce ghost-level ghost and did not kill any, resulting in a score of 60 points. Glasses man contracted and killed one fierce ghost-level ghost, earning a score of 70 points. Sun Lily contracted one fierce ghost-level ghost and killed two, obtaining a score of 80 points. Finally, the paper man turned to Lin Ma to declare his results, contracting two fierce ghost-level ghosts and one malevolent spirit-level ghost, and killing five fierce ghost-level ghosts and one malevolent spirit-level ghost. Lin Ma achieved a score of 90 points. The paper man promptly announced that Lin Ma was the MVP of this assessment. He then handed Lin Ma a blue ghost pearl. Lin Ma happily accepted it, knowing that with this green corpse ghost pearl, he could upgrade the blood-pupiled ghost and activate a second skill. After all, the blood-pupiled ghost had already proven its value in the assessment. Seeing Lin Ma nonchalantly toss the precious green corpse ghost pearl into a garbage bag, Glasses Man and Yellow Hair's faces contorted with envy. After declaring the results, the paper man started to chant a spell and his body was engulfed in flames. In the next second, a massive ring of fire surrounded the group. Lin Ma took one last look at the hospital behind him, and as the flames dissipated, they began to teleport away. Back in the real-world classroom, Teacher Zhou was anxiously praying for the safe return of her students. Just then, the teleportation screens on the desks lit up. Overwhelmed with relief, she exclaimed, they're back. But the next moment, she was left horrified and teary-eyed by the gruesome sight in front of her. Students who teleported back were wailing in agony. Some were missing arms or legs, while others clutched their eyes screaming, I'm blind. Call an ambulance. One student, covered in blood, painfully lay on the ground, reaching out to Teacher Zhou, begging for help. Without hesitation, Teacher Zhou rushed out of the classroom to get assistance. The rescue team, already stationed at the school, immediately brought in stretchers and began providing emergency care to the injured students. Immediately after, Teacher Zhou began tallying the casualties. Out of those who passed the assessment, only 20 made it, and among them, 10 were seriously injured. The next moment, she was stunned to see Lin Mo returning and scathed from an A-level ghost domain. She hurried over to Lin Ma to check if he was injured. Seeing his dazed and unresponsive demeanor, she thought Lin Ma might be mentally traumatized. Wrapping him in a comforting embrace, she consoled him, it's okay, it's over now, it's good that you're back safe and sound. Lin Ma, still disoriented from the recent teleportation, was instantly awakened by the intense oppressive feeling on his face. Feeling an awkward movement in a certain area, he quickly pointed to the screen to divert her attention, signaling her to look at the large MVP display on the monitor. Teacher Zhou was left astounded by Lin Ma's assessment results. How is this possible? The one who always scores the least, the perpetual tail-ender of the class, managed to get the MVP of the A-level ghost domain? In the next moment, her demeanor changed from shock to pride and delight. She patted Lin Ma enthusiastically. Well done, well done. You truly are the student I always say has the most potential. Hearing this, Lin Ma smirked. Just yesterday, you asked me to leave the class and stand outside as punishment. Have you already forgotten? Then, teacher Zhou's attention was drawn to the garbage bag on Lin Ma's desk. Curiously, she asked what was inside. Casually, Lin Mo replied that these were treasures he had stripped from the dead in the haunted hospital. Zhou's eyes widened in surprise. So you basically went on an escape room game with a touch of a terrifying exam and even managed to snag the MVP title? At that moment, in teacher Zhou's eyes, Lin Ma's image transformed into a rising star in the ghost realm. She thought to herself that maybe she had found a strong ally to lean on in the future. Suddenly, the teleportation circle on the desk next to Lin Ma lit up. Amidst the wails and cries around, Lin Ma spotted his classmate, Black Little Fat, comfortably snoring away. Cold sweat formed on Lin Ma's forehead as he wondered, did this guy just sleep through the entire day in the ghost domain? He then glanced at Black Little Fat's results and immediately gave a thumbs up. D-level ghost domain chaotic junkyard, score, 60 points. Lin Ma thought, truly the king of coasting
in our class. To go through the ghost domain assessment and scathed, teleport back while still asleep, only you could pull that off. Lean Ma promptly tried to wake up Black Little Fat with a pat. However, realizing the depth of his slumber, he resorted to his ultimate move. Pulling out a few hundred dollars, he shouted, Black Little Fat, it's time to eat. The next moment, Black Little Fat woke up with a start. Food? Where's the food? Lean Ma, noticing the drool around Black Little Fat's mouth, couldn't help but jest. In your past life, were you related to the chainsaw ghost or something? Just as the two were laughing and preparing to celebrate at a barbecue restaurant, Lean Ma received a call from his father. Lin Lan's concerned voice came from the other end. My dear son, how did your exams go? Did you make it to university? With a contemptuous smile, Lean Ma replied, Dad, you really underestimate your son. Listen well, I snagged the MVP of the A-level ghost domain. The next moment, Lin's father screamed in excitement. Good heavens, A-level ghost domain MVP? Is our family's ancestral grave spewing blue smoke or something? Lin's mother, An Chuang, was also so thrilled she was on the verge of tears. Well done, son. Let's see who dares to call my son a poor student now. He continued with a caring tone. If you run out of money, just let us know. We'll sell the wheat these next few days and send you the money. It's strange that his sickle was dripping with fresh blood. He quickly reassured them that he had found a lot of jewels in the ghost domain and reminded them to hire a harvester. Given the vast 40 acres of wheat they had, Meanwhile, in a remote field in the mountains, the simple and honest farmer parents Lean Ma remembered were glaring menacingly at a line of severed heads on the ground. Their sides were dripping with fresh blood. A man in black, lying on the ground, cursed them defiantly. Damn you, the security bureau will never let you remnants go. Upon hearing this, Lin's father's face darkened instantly. With a swift motion, he slashed the man's neck with his scythe. Damn the security bureau, I'll cut down every single one of those rotten fish and shrimps inside it sooner or later. Lin's mother, looking at the head scattered on the ground, voiced her concerns. This is already the seventh wave this year. Won't the security bureau discover us? Lin's father reassured her. They've probably just expanded their search range. If worse comes to worst, I'll just make a trip to the provincial city. Lin's mother looked puzzled. Why would you go to the provincial city? Wouldn't that just cause trouble for our son? The next moment, Lin's father burst into manic laughter. Ha <laughs> ha. I'd go to the security bureau in the provincial city and slaughter them all. 